What's going on my fellow collectors, Jim here, and we're going to take a look at this Mego Music Icons Jimi Hendrix figure. Now these are pretty cool. I found these at Target. There's kind of a bunch of different uh, genres of it. A, a lot of um, old movies, they have the music, a bunch of different characters. It's kind of pretty neat. But uh, it's basically that old kind of Mego style. It does come in a nice box. Um, and it is actually numbered down here, so I guess they only made about you know ten thousand of these, and this is number eight thousand five hundred and sixty nine. But that's pretty cool. So Marty Abrams presents this uh, little amigo, uh, and it says official limited edition action figure with original detail and quality, fourteen points of articulations. We do have a few images of the late great Jimi Hendrix, and of course we got Jimi Hendrix eight inch figure up here. And um, kind of has this little like word bubble in the back says, excuse me while I kiss this guy. So very cool on the back here. Another image of uh, Jimi Hendrix, the greatest guitarist in rock and roll history, which is uh, pretty true there. And uh, here's some other little read-ups. Collect them all. And I guess this is the gentleman responsible for the original uh, Magos. says, retro is back for old fans to play with and collect faithful reproductions of classic toys, bringing back fond memories while creating new ones. For 60 years, Marty Abrams has been an inventor in the toy business. Hurtling as a father of the licensed action figures from the 70s, Marty created the original shared universe of Mego action figures who could interact in the same format. So the Mego repro uh, reproductions are authentic classic characters and play patterns brought back in true classic vision of the original Magos. So pretty cool little packaging. This is probably more or less something that a lot of collectors are going to want to keep on card. Uh, mine's a little bit dinged up, but we are going to pull him out of the packaging. I'm going to do it carefully because I'm probably going to put him back in there and display him that way. But uh, we do want to take a close, close look at him, so let's do exactly that. Okay, so here's everything out of the packaging that we do get. So we do get a guitar, so this is pretty plain, but again, we have to remember that the price point on these are pretty affordable. They're only like 12, 13, 14 bucks, something like that, I think it was. So um, not the greatest detail or, or sculpt in the world, but it is neat, and they did make it a left-handed guitar because you know he was left-handed. Um, we do get a little bit of red paint here and some kind of like decorative painted designs on it. Uh, you can kind of make out the whammy bar that was sculpted with a little bit of kind of sloppy black paint on it. And they even did kind of sculpt like the power and tuner buttons here. Um, you really can't see any frets or anything. And the, string, the strings are sculpted on there, but just kind of sloppily pa painted with black. And in the back, of course, it's just kind of plain. And unfortunately, mine's a little bit on the warp side, but, you know, no big deal. And then taking a closer look at Jimi Hendrix here, I think, you know, it captures the likeness for the most part. You know, uh, these uh, you know newer Mego figures definitely do a better job than some of the older ones. But, I mean, for what it is, it's not bad. It's decent looking. It does have his classic, you know, bandana on, red bandana, which is tied in the back. Uh, the hair sculpt is a little bit on the soft side, but, you know, it's there. And again, this is kind of like, a, you know, rubbery kind of head kind of hard rubber and then the rest of the body is kind of like that hard plastic but um, then we do get uh, this particular outfit which of course this is all you know cloth clothing and it does you can remove this if you wanted to but um, this ha kind of has like a almost like a fake leathery foxy feeling to it and then down here we have his little like strands of you know fabric hanging down and of course on the back here this is all pretty cool, very, you know, 60s looking. And then we have his uh, felt pants here, and these have a very felt feel to them. Pretty cool looking, you know, he's got, kind of got the bell bottom things going on. We even get like some buttons down here on the bottom. And then we have like some, it looks like, almost a, what looks like sandals. I'm sure these are probably removable, yep, so you can remove those to uh, reveal some toes. 
but yeah, overall pretty cool. And I think this is a uh, uh, probably one of a one of the more classic outfits that he wore. Maybe maybe for a concert that he did for you know specifically excuse me while I kiss the sky, but uh, no peg holes on the bottom. But yeah, very decent looking figure and a pretty cool little collectible. Now, it did say it had 14 points of articulation. Now, you don't get a lot of movement. You do have full rotation of the head, but that's it. You don't really get any front and down, no side to side, nothing like that. Uh, the arms are, ooh, I hope that was a ratchet. Jeez. But the arms do come out. Again, these are pretty loose, pretty cheaply made figures, but again, it's more for, you know, just the, um, the uh, theme or whatever the character is, you know? But his arms do come out. They are a little bit on the loose side. They do go forward and back. You do get a bend at the elbow. You do have rotation and a hinge on the wrist. Um, you do have an ab crunch, which is pretty loose. You do have a twist as well. And you even get a little bit of side to side. So pretty decent range, actually, with the uh, torso. The legs go out really nice. Um, go forward about that much. Go back. There is a thigh swivel on there. He does have, I guess just a single joint, a uh, single bend at the knee, but you get about that much. You do have a hinge down here at the foot, and that's it. And I will say, a lot of these joints are pretty loose. I mean, he's, he is pretty hard to stand up, just because these hinges down here at his ankles are so, so loose. That's a little bit unfortunate. I wish they were a little bit tighter, but um, very cool. But now, as far as him holding his guitar, it's kind of unfortunate that he can't um, I mean I guess you could probably do something creative with using maybe something clear but I mean you can kind of get this hand on there but then it's kind of impossible to have him hold the guitar in a way that it makes it look like he's playing so you would have to kind of get creative in that aspect of it because he's not just gonna be able to hold it so that is a little bit unfortunate I wish they would have at least made it to where he could you know hold on to the guitar but as of that it's just not going to happen but I'm sure you could get creative and make it happen somehow you know uh, let me bring this back here and give you a little measurement so it looks like he stands a little over seven and a half inches tall and just as a comparison, here is uh, another kind of Mego style figure, but this is by Figures Toy Company. So that's what he looks like. Come on, Jimmy. You're falling over on me now. But that's what he looks like next to uh, good old Batman. And just for another comparison, here he is next to a uh, kind of like standard Marvel Legends figure. Give you an idea, this is uh, Ant-Man. But yeah, guys, that was a look at the new... Uh, Mago style action figures. So these are pretty cool. Like I said, they, they have a bunch of different ones. They have uh, I Dream a Genie, a lot of classic TV uh, shows. Um, shoot, now I'm, I'm having a brain fart trying to think of all of them. But they had, I know they had Star Trek. They had some really nice uh, two pack Star Trek figures. They had um, two pack I Dream a Genie. They had uh, Cheers. They had some other great, you know, old time uh, TV shows. So very cool. Like I said, it is, it is at a uh, end cap at Walmart. And what I did was just kind of carefully took a sharp um, blade and cut around the bottom. That way I can kind of put everything back in the package here or try to try my best anyway. So I can put everything back in the package and I can still be able to display him, you know, up on the shelf. But yeah, guys, that was a look at the uh, Amigo Jimi Hendrix figures, the music icon line. Check the, your local Target. There's a whole bunch of cool different figures. If you are into, you know, any of these different uh, old uh, TV series and like I said they have music icons whole bunch of different ones and they are limited edition So that makes it a little bit cool. But yeah, that was a look guys. I hope you enjoyed the video Don't forget to like leave me a comment below Share the video. Don't forget to hit, the, to hit that bell notification and uh, I will see you guys on the next figure review